So I pulled some rosemary off its stalk, chucked it in the bowl. We've got a couple here I'm going to stick on the, the lamb that goes on the spit. I'm just prepping the, um, the garlic. I'm going to mash it all up. So I'll just cut it a little bit finer. A bit of sea salt. Pepper. Some lemons that I did earlier. Just going to put some juice or some lemon in it. Olive oil. Throw all these into here. Yeah. So I'm just going to put a couple of holes there, gives it a chance to get, get some, put some into the uh, meat. There's a bit of an opening at the bottom, so put some in there. So I'll just share this around. Now I'm going to rub this all in, obviously, um, and then I'm going to put it back in its bag and then I'll let it sit overnight and just let everything just sort of soak in. And that's all ready now. I'll, I'll put that back in the fridge and we'll sit that in there overnight and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get that bill tomorrow morning. So now I'll go and get the pork. Oh look, in the beginning I used to put oil on it, salt it, you know, that sort of stuff, but I got away from the oil, the fences wasn't crackling enough, it was getting better. And then I was talking to my brother-in-law the other day, and he was saying he actually, he actually dries the pork out, so he, he towels it off. So you get it really dry, and then you leave it in the fridge overnight. See the rind right now is, it's very moist. And I can feel already, just from feeling it, you can feel it drying out already, taking all that moisture out of it. Again, we get our meat from O'Shaughnessy's and, and Sunbury. Uh, he does good quality meat. Unfortunately, those meat's so expensive to buy that when you do buy it, you want, you want to be buying good quality meat. And you want to be getting it from a butcher that you know is giving you good stuff. In the morning, first up, I'm going to get it out and just try and get the room temperature before I put on the spit and see whether that makes a difference as well. You know, try and see if I can just get the air to also do a bit more drying out um, before we salt it up and throw it on. But I don't, I don't do anything else to pork. I just chuck the salt on it and it normally tastes pretty good on its own without putting anything on it. So chuck this in the fridge. So I usually find a couple of kilos of each meat will fit nicely on a Bunnings $85 spit. Pretty good. Now like I said, I'm not using any oil um, or anything like that. If you could smell this right now, it smells absolutely beautiful. So like I said, let that sit in overnight. So it's been at least Minimum 12 hours I've stuck it in there for. Now again, I'm trying to balance this as best I can. All right, as you can see, these are just over two kilos each. They fit on there beautifully. I'll just stick a bit of rosemary on it just to make it look pretty. No other reason. It's already got probably plenty of it already on it. Oh well. I'll have to get on the spit and see how we go. So we just put the spit under my eave line in my house because it's a bit windy today, so. You can see how simple the bunny system is, very good. Now we just gotta watch the weight as it turns. 
And the whole idea of having the counter weight is to help the machine turn nicely so you don't, you don't burn it up. Because these things aren't made for heavy loads. So if you can get it there, you see it felt through there? So at the moment we want the weight around here somewhere. We'll just watch it for a bit. degrees to it just a little bit less and what the point of it is the weight balances either side to make it easy for the motor I think we got it I think that's pretty good it's rolling smoothly yeah it looks like it's uh, rolling through quite well now can't always get it 100%, but that's pretty good. So how long does this need to cook for? Oh, I usually, cook, I usually say an hour a kilo, but on a spit I usually allow a little bit less than that. Plus I like my lamb a little bit mid, and the pork. If you find that's not quite right when you take the lamb off, we'll chuck it back on the spit again for another 20 minutes or whatever. But yeah, I wouldn't be cooking this for any more than two hours. But if you want to, you can cook it all day, just have a little lower heat you can cook it throughout the day. It's a bit of a trial and error, really. Put your hand there and you can't leave it and it's hot enough to cook. If you put your hand there at this height and you can leave it there, it's not hot enough. But again, if you want it cooler and cook it slower over the day, um, I know a lot of people do it that way and they reckon the meat comes out a lot better. I'm too scared I'm going to overcook it if I do it Anyway, that's it. I'll leave that now and go do some other stuff. Just going to stick this on an oven tray, just whack it in the oven, yeah. not on, just stick it on the oven tray. And we'll come back to that in about 20 minutes and we'll cut it off. So, um, what do you call these things again? <laughs> Rosemary. too busy talking. I think I might have overcooked it. But we'll find it when we cut the lamb up. That's what we'll know.